Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for October 4th. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the first, Job 42.12. Job found his legacy through the grief he experienced. He was tried that his godliness might be confirmed and validated. In the same way, my troubles are intended to deepen my character and to clothe me in gifts I had little of prior to my difficulties. For my ripest fruit grows against the roughest wall. I come to a place of glory only through my own humility, tears, and death, just as Job's afflictions left him with a higher view of God and more humble thoughts of himself. At last he cried, Now my eyes have seen you. Verse 5. If I experience the presence of God in his majesty through my pain and loss, so that I bow before him and pray, Your will be done, Matthew 6.10, then I have gained much indeed. God gave Job glimpses of his future glory, for in those weary and difficult days and nights, he was allowed to penetrate God's veil and could honestly say, I know that my Redeemer lives, Job 19.25. So truly, the Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the first, in the hour of silence. Trouble never comes to someone unless it brings a nugget of gold in its hand. Apparently, adversity will ultimately become an advantage for those of us doing what is right, if we are willing to keep serving and to wait patiently. Think of the great victorious souls of the past who worked with steadfast faith and who were invincible and courageous. There are many blessings we will never obtain if we are unwilling to accept and endure suffering. There are certain joys that can come to us only through sorrow. There are revelations of God's divine truth that we will receive only when the light of earth has been extinguished. And there are harvests that will grow only once the plow has done its work. Selected. It is from suffering that the strongest souls ever known have emerged. The world's greatest display of character is seen in those who exhibit the scars of sorrow. The martyrs of the ages have worn their coronation robes that have glistened with fire, yet through their tears and sorrow have seen the gates of heaven. Chapin. I will know by the gleaming glitter of the golden chain you wear, by your heart's calm strength and loving of the fire you have had to bear. Beat on, true heart, forever, shine bright, strong golden chain, and bless the cleansing fire and the furnace of living pain. Adelaide Proctor Thank you for listening, and God bless you.